Hello everyone. Today I am going to take your paper third, PSCT 223. That is the third paper. That is the choice based credit system pattern by 2020. So that course is experimental technique in physics first. In this course we have to four modules. So I have taken first two modules and other remaining two taking a conductor. So first module is the sense. <coughs> first module is a signal, signal analysis and sensor. And second module is, is the vacuum physics. So starting with the first module or first topic, sensor. Sensor is a device we sense or detects the physical parameter like as a temperature, pressure, force, humidity, strain, stress converted into a suitable form means what in electrical form like as a current, voltage and resistors. Sensor is also known as its input device which provides an output signal with respect to specific physical quantity input. Next, sensor is a device or module or machine or subsystem whose purpose is to detect events or changes in its environment, send the information to other electronics or electronics devices like as a computer processor to perform the operation and gives the desired output. Examples like as a temperature sensors, we have known the various temperature sensors like as a thermistor, thermocouple, these are the temperature sensors. So we sense the temperature and gives the desired output in terms of current and voltage or resistors or any other sensor it defines or gives the specific parameters of the sensor which gives the desired output next sensor has some characteristics so why we want to study the characteristics when we choose a sensor for any applications so you have to see some performance characteristics so why is required performance characteristics because of it is suitable for your application so these performance characteristics of the sensors are divided into two categories first one is the static characteristics and second one is the dynamic characteristics so starting with a static character starting with a static characteristics so static characteristics the set of criteria defined for the instruments which are used to measure the quantity which are very slowly varying with time or mostly constant that is do not vary with time is called static characteristics so here quantity not vary much with respect to time so that's why that character is characteristics is known as static characteristics so static characteristics has different parameters so it has the near about 12 characteristics or performance characteristics first one is the accuracy second one is the precision third one is the sensitivity fourth one is the linearity fifth one is reproducibility sixth one is repeatability seventh one is the resolution eighth one is the threshold nine one is the drift ten is the stability nine uh, eleventh one is the tolerance twelfth one is the range or span so starting with accuracy so what is the accuracy accuracy is the closeness of the measurement to the specific value 
standard value true value the accuracy is measures the degree of closeness of measured or calculated value to its actual value standard value or true value so when we measure a accuracy we have two different ways accuracy can be expressed so starting with point accuracy such accuracy is specified only one particular point of scale it does not give any information about the accuracy at any other point of scale so here any scale we have to define a particular point of scale so that is the known as the point accuracy so second one is the accuracy as a percentage of scale span so when we instrument as a uniform scale its accuracy may be expressed in terms of scale range accuracy as a percentage of true value last one the best way to convince the idea of accuracy is to specify it in terms of the true value of the quantity to be measured so when we accuracy as a percentage of true value which gives the more accuracy so it is the very best way to convince the idea of accuracy related with a true value specified value or standard value so accuracy gives the mathematical relation or mathematical formula error accuracy is equal to error upon true value into 100 so here error is equal to measured value minus true value so whatever measured value you have to measured so that is the subtracted by a your standard value true value or specified value so the percentage of value value of true specified or standard is more accurate than percentage of the full scale deflection next one is the precision it is the also related term with accuracy but precision is the closeness of the measurements to each other it also measures the degree of agreement within a group of measurements it measures the reproducibility in given fixed value of quantity next one precision is the degree to which repeated reproducible measurement under the unchanged condition so precision it gives the number of set of repeated observation that is the known as the precision or precise value of the sensor or instrument consider one example when temperature sensors gives the constant uh, observation as a 35 degree celsius so that is the precise value of your temperature sensor so let me explain or clear the concept of what is the accuracy and what is the precision accuracy is the closeness of the standard value true value or specified value or precision number of repeated value of the observation so first diagram c the blue balls are are very near to the standard value or true value or specified value so their accuracy is high second diagram the blue balls are away from the center or standard value or true value or specified value so low accuracy same as third diagram the blue balls are spread or away from the your standard value true value or specified value so there is also low accuracy but precision first diagram we have to see all the blue balls are close to each other so that is the high precision same as second diagram 
it is the away from the standard value but it very close to each other so that's why high precision and last one it is the spread or it is the not close to each other so that's why it is the low precision so following characteristics it shows the precision and accuracy it is clear your doubts or it is the clear what is the accuracy and precision so accuracy is near about the center of the slow uh, center of the parabola so we have to give on to the closeness of standard value specified value or true value or precision it is the range or span of the observation between them so that is the precision so you have to clear the accuracy and precision next parameter is the sensitivity sensitivity it is the very important parameter of the sensor so sensitivity it denotes the smallest change of the measured variable to which instrument respond so whatever input given to the sensor and uh, instrument it is the there is very smallest change their environment so that is done so detects at the output very shortly so we have to say that is the very sensitive for sensor or instrument so we can define the sensitivity it is the ratio of change of output of the instrument to the change of input or value of the quantity to be measured of the instrument is known as sensitivity so sensitivity in general mathematical expression or mathematical formula is sensitivity is equal to change in output or change in input so in a response curve linear then sensitivity is good response curve means characteristics of the sensor means input output relation it is the directly proportional or linear then sensitivity of the sensor we have to say is very good or better or best if response curve or input output relation of the sensor is non linear it is the inversely proportional then your sensitivity of the sensor is very poor thank you